da 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 But the other studio I want to talk about. So Looney Tunes, of course, was very very old. It's it's been around maybe a hundred years. I don't know. Maybe Tom and Jerry also very very old. But there was another animation studio that only did cartoons for TV, and I'm talking about Hanna Barbera. Hanna Barbera is also a very old animation studio, and their cartoons characters are are equally as famous all over America. So, for example, we have Yogi Bear, Yogi Bear, and his friend. Um, and he had a friend who was a park ranger because Yogi Bear lived in the woods, and, and but he had, he lived in a national park, and his thing was he would steal sandwiches from from campers or people families visiting the parks. He would come in and he'd steal their sandwiches. That was his thing. And then the park ranger would like yell at him, "Hey, stop stealing the sandwiches!" And then Yogi Bear would be like, "But they're delicious." And the ranger would be like, "Yeah, that's that's true." Um, the Flintstones. The Flintstones uh, were a family that lived in the in the prehistoric times, but they had like modern day jobs. <laughs> and then there was the Jetsons. The Jetsons were a future, far far future family, but they also had modern day jobs. And it followed a family that was just like ours. One was in the early early days of history, of human history, and the other was in the far future. But they were all to- totally normal families, you know. Uh, but to make to make these cartoons a little more interesting, sometimes Hanna Barbera would mix the worlds together and 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 put them into uh, what was called the Laugh Olympics. And the Laugh Olympics was Saturday every Saturday morning there would be a new adventure with the Laugh Olympics. The Laugh Olympics they took the Hanna Barbera characters and they put them up into teams. Oh, this was so crazy. They put them into teams that would compete against each other. And because you had the good guys, the good guys would try to win by just being good at racing. And the bad guys would try to win by cheating and making trouble for the good guys. And so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they were all basically the same. Um, but they also added a little bit of a, a, a drama. Yeah, a little bit of drama uh, to the cartoons. So usually cartoons in America in this time, I'm t- 50 years ago, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, just, just that I'm really old. Anyway, but a long time ago, cartoons didn't really have a story. And again, they were very short. But Laugh Olympics was the beginning of kind of like a story. They told a story, but not a very difficult story. One team is trying to win and the other team is going to come up with a clever plan to stop the other team from winning so they can be the winner. 